Do you need the reference image? Yep. I mean, maybe not yet. So no touch fringe. Wow. Oh my God. New Year, my friends. It's uh, January 1st, 2022 here in Australia. And you know what that means? New Year, new haircut. I'm very tempted to give myself a Bixie cut because apparently the Bixie cut is the hottest trend of 2022, or it's set to be, supposedly. Now, a Bixie cut, for those of you that don't know, it's kind of like a hybrid between a pixie cut and a bob. I've been wanting both for a long time. I've wanted a bob for ages, and I've also been very tempted to cut off all of my hair and start again because it's quite damaged, hence the pixie cut. So the pixie cut seems like a good hybrid of both, but every time I Google pixie cut and I look at images of it on Pinterest and Google and tutorials on YouTube, I don't really like it that much. I like the idea of it, but every image that I come across, it's not quite right. I found a very specific image that I liked. It's this image here, and I love it. I, I think this hair is perfect, and it's exactly what I want. But I just, I can't find a tutorial anywhere for exactly that hairstyle. You know, you, you can see tutorials for Bixie cuts, but I can't see exactly what I want. So I'm just going to show that image to my friends and hope that they could possibly recreate it. Are they hairdressers? No. But Michelle has cut her hair a lot, uh, and Grace gives herself an undercut every two months. So, you know what? I'm in qualified hands. Beautiful. Yeah, you know how you were like, are you ready for this? And I was like, yeah, I'm ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Come take a seat, Michelle. <laughs> oh, hello. What is this? Pino clean. Pino clean for your hair. Okay, guys, this is the hair. Oh, that's super cute. You like it? I do. Um, what? 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 Can we help you? You don't know how to do it? Can I help you? Is there a tutorial? No. I couldn't find a tutorial for this hairstyle. Maybe I might turn around so they can see the back of my head. <laughs> this is off to a great start. Notice we're doing this conveniently next to the pizza oven. So if it's a big disaster, I can just stick my head in it. Do you want the spray? Yeah, sure, why not? I did taste the ah, taste test at first to make sure. It's definitely water. Yes. Definitely not pine clean. Got a bad haircut? Put some Windex on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need the reference image? Yep. I mean, maybe not yet. So no touch fringe. Wow. Oh my God. is gonna find you oh my God. and kill wow. you. But that you just went for it. You Get just the out of my face! Oh my god, she's crying. This is the Bixie cut. This is a curly Bixie. Ah, Michelle! <laughs> if you're gonna do it, at least do it on camera. Oh, sorry. It's all right. See? Now we just now we have a little Is it done? No, no. <laughs> is it done? Ah. <laughs> You just got the little, you just got a little bob now. But now you have a cute little bob though. You look like a drowned rat. <laughs> Fuck off. Why did you bring these tiny scissors though? No, you need the nail scissors. No. Are these nail scissors? I'm just trying They're to make dog it. shears. <laughs> they have the thing that makes it professional. Ah, the thing. For dogs. Professional. Professional for dogs. Like yes. your entire audience is screaming. Yeah. I'm screaming. They're screaming that they hate me. Some of them are here for it though. Even Ooh. the people yeah, across the, the valley are screaming. How did they see the video before it's even up? So, question. Yes. Um, I really do think when it's dry, it will be shorter. Yes. So... I'm just trying to even it. Ah. It's very like Joan Jett. Oh, I love Joan Jett. <laughs> Look at me. It's your face that kills me. It's the Wait, concern. Can I see? You pull a happy face and you pull a concerned face. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that beetle. Oh! <laughs> look, he's, look at him. He's right there. He's one of my mum's. <laughs> one of my mum's <laughs> drones. <laughs> you have your curler here? No. We won't ever achieve that without curling stuff. Yeah, that's true. Ah. Hey, let me get some. See, look, Grace. Back. I I'm don't need a curler. Pomade. Look. I'm getting some pomade. It's everything's. Stop pulling that face. I can see you in the viewfinder. I think it's nice. Very uh, Marilyn Monroe if you gave her some coke. <laughs> Sent her off into a back alley for a month. Covered her in some tar. 
You're in you're in Harry Potter PJ pants time, with a tie dyed shirt with your hair cut cut by sheep shearers. Okay, wait. And this is the start to 2022. Look at this pomade. <laughs> Look at this pomade he has. Cement. It's, it's so dry. <laughs> Are you sure that's not just like from the bottom? It's from the pizza oven. From the pizza oven. You know what? It's, it's not as tragic as Grace is making it out. I know to she's freaking rude. She's a savage. Look at Sam out to she's ask. Savage. I know she really is. <laughs> Why don't we Look, ask my cute. husband? He'll say I look beautiful. I'm a beautiful. realist. <laughs> no. All right, Dan's coming. My husband's coming. Okay. Okay. You won't be for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a cute. See, Grace. Grace was rude. Well, it's a good it's... thing we're not married. <laughs> 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 what were you saying? You were saying. I know. Yeah, I said I was concerned. Rude. And she looks cute. And I said we can't get curls without oh, a curl. How dare you? Because it's literally now we're all stroking <laughs> Alex's head and being like, "You're beautiful, Grace." Would you like to do anything to my hair? Now it's a free for all. <laughs> I mean, I would cut it into a different style. But what I would mean, you cut my hair into? The, I would cut it more into like a the pixie, pixie style. Cut. Can you lighten this up a little bit? This is like very heavy here. It's really heavy. So could you like sort of? Do you want the dog scissors? I have an idea. Drink more. There's a tutorial for a pixie cut that you could follow that might give me sort of what I want. Check this out. This is Paul Watts. Oh, he's the nice dude. Yeah. Do you think we should perhaps separate it like what he's done here? No. Yes. How does one separate hair? This is why I didn't go into... Hairdressing? Yeah. I was offered an apprenticeship and I was like, no, thank you. I'm going to do art instead. I mean, it's basically art, right? <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I'm going to do Body drawing art. instead. And then I haven't gone into art and I wish I'd said yes because I could have been a hairdresser by now and have got good hair money. <laughs> <laughs> I want me some hair money. <laughs> <laughs> hair money. It looks like he's divided it up oh, like that. Cute. Look how Ooh, cute it do is. Do yourself a little, a little oh, top knot. Oh, it's so cute. Are they seeing that's this? That's not a top knot. That's Cynthia. Watch this. No, it's been looking at putting in a a slither. Sliver section. Cut, Cut it and chill. See what he's doing? No. Taking that little bit and then going snip, 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 snip. Little bit. Snip, 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 snip. Why is he doing this? That's what you want? No, but I thought the technique. <laughs> but I thought the techniques that they use. See how it looks very short at the back, but then there's like volume on. Okay. Well, now that we have some direction, thank you, Paul. I reckon we leave the top alone, so that way uh, it can be salvaged. But we can go a little bit sort of heavier. Stop spraying it; it's fine. Girl, okay. okay. Paul is going to be mad at you. Okay, I'm sorry, Paul. She has wavy hair. You can't cut. It's going to be uneven. I'm hungry. Yeah, there. Yeah. Concerned. That looks cute, actually. Like, I'm quite proud of that. Hang on. <laughs> right. Well, it seems as though now is the time to execute Order 666. And by Order 666, I mean I need to accept that I now have no hair left to torture for the sake of content. So instead, I'll need to buy myself a bunch of wigs online to hide my hair under until it grows back. And I'm going to start off my wig shopping adventures on Shein. Why Shein, you ask? Well, a bunch of people have asked me to try wigs from Shein, but also Shein just so happens to be one of the thousands of websites compatible with my favorite shopping tool, Honey. Thank you so much, Honey, for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Honey is, you're literally missing out on free money. It's an online shopping tool that searches the internet for promo codes to help you save on purchases, like how I saved almost $20 on my Shein wig order with a simple click of a button. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's literally just a browser plugin that's completely free to install. If you want to try it for yourself, go to joinhoney.com slash prettypastel and start saving money on tons of your favorite websites. That's joinhoney.com slash prettypastel. I promise you won't regret it. Anyway, with that, let's get back to the video. Careful of my ear. You're so close to my ear. I know. That's why I'm getting my finger underneath it. <laughs> oh, I got her ear. I want to die. <laughs> Great. Alex, I'm so sorry.
kill myself. <laughs> kill myself. Please forgive um, me. I'm scared to take my finger away. Okay. Is it? There's no blood. You're fine. Oh, Yay! I love you, Alex. I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> hold your ears. So Imagine you snip off my earlobe and I've got to. You could be Van okay, Gogh. Let's just stop cutting for a sec and take stock. Oh, stop. What? Out of curiosity, if you just let your hair down, how does it all look? I look like Eugene from The Walking Dead. <laughs> I like that. Up like this and just shave the sides. Oh! <laughs> I'm so good. Oh Sorry, you are so good. Michelle pretends <laughs> that she's okay with Sam being friends with his ex girlfriends, but secretly she's. No! Stab! Stab! Oh, sponge kick! So sorry! If I do this with my fringe. I mean, we can keep cutting. No, it no, if you want. no, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get changed and put on some makeup and maybe try to put some curls in it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, all right. Very cute. Ta da! I know, you're probably thinking, what the hell happened? Where did your hair go? I'll tell you what happened. 2022 happened. It's January 20th now, so it's been 20 days since I first cut my hair. And uh, look, things didn't, they didn't quite go as planned. It was 3 a.m. in the morning and I was tidying up my hair a little bit. And before I knew it, I gave myself a pixie cut. So, there goes the idea of the Bixie cut, but you know what? The way that I justify this, the way that I see this working is I'm doing the right thing by starting very short because now as my hair grows longer, then I can experiment with those hairstyles. So where in the past I was like, oh, okay, my hair's long. Now I'm gonna cut it to shoulder length. Now it's gonna be a wolf cut. Now it's going to be a shag cut. Now it's gonna be a bob. Now it's gonna be a Bixie cut it's kind of going to work in the reverse. So this is probably as short as I'm gonna go and uh, it can grow a little bit and then it can be a proper Bixie cut and then it can grow a little bit more and it can be a proper shag cut and then it can grow a bit more after that and it can be a proper wolf cut. But I'm going to do all of that with hopefully my natural hair. This is essentially the end of the torment. This is the new chapter in the hair adventures of Pretty Pastel Please. Say goodbye to the hair dye era and say hello to the wig era as I try to grow out my natural hair. I think that as my hair grows out and starts to recover, I'm going to really treat it well with some very good products. We're going to hopefully get my natural color back at some point. Uh, as you can see right now, as far as the color, can you see the sort of hint of blue? So if you missed it, I did dye my hair black using Arctic Fox Transylvania, which is not actually black as such. It's a very, very, very dark shade of blue. So as you wash it out, it does throw this sort of bluish hue. Now, as much as I really enjoy having black hair, I also really enjoy having blonde hair. And I also enjoy having pink hair. And I also enjoy having red hair. And look, this is how we got in this predicament of hair damage in the first place, because once I started dying, I couldn't stop from the moment I was born. Once I started coloring my hair, I just became so obsessed. And every time I tried a new color, I liked it so much, but then I wanted to try something different. So to me, I see myself as the perfect candidate to wear wigs. It, it makes perfect sense. Why keep dyeing my hair when I could pop on a different wig whenever I want a different color. So as much as I do like the black and as much as I know you guys really like the black because people have been leaving lots of comments telling me that this color is their favorite color so far on me, I'm going to hopefully reset this back to my natural color and then I can wear black wigs. So look, here's, here's my little bit of a content strategy plan for those of you that are sticking around until the end here and you're still interested. I intend on using some vitamin C and clarifying shampoo to strip as much of this color out of my hair as I can. I've got no idea what's going to happen. I know the Transylvania fades out to a very soft pastel kind of blue and in some people it even just goes like a silver. I don't know what's going to happen underneath this. So I am going to make a video about stripping the black color out of my hair. Whatever base is left, I'm then going to try 
and put it back to red, as close to my natural color as I possibly can, because that way, as my hair grows longer, I don't have to worry about dealing with regrowth because hopefully it'll all just blend in together. And uh, then I'm going to be posting this series about wigs. So as you guys saw earlier, I got some wigs from Shein. Now I picked Shein because it's highly requested and they're very affordable. My wig series is hopefully going to be showing wigs that are very cheap and then working my way all the way up to some really good quality lace front human hair wigs that are, you know, very well known brands, very respected brands that are probably several hundred dollars for those wigs. So episode one will be the wigs from Shein. That's like a $20 kind of price range. So then hopefully next time I make a wig video, we'll go one step up in the price range. So if you guys know any good quality wig companies that you'd like me to talk about, or even any very affordable wigs that you've seen online that you want me to try out, please leave them in the comments down below. And you know, I can try on like from five or six different brands, the same style of wig, and we'll see who makes the best ones. So with that, that's uh, probably enough talking. Let me show you what I have left on my head. I did not do the best job. This is just me holding a mirror like this, looking in a mirror behind me and just kind of snipping. I, I, it's not neat, it's not tidy, it's not done as per any tutorial, but what I love about it most is it's, it's just so low maintenance. <laughs> It just dries in a couple of minutes now. And it's really easy to style too, because there's not very much weight. I just put a tiny little bit of product like that and I just kind of fluff it up and it gives me some nice volume on the top and my fringe is growing out a little bit. When I was snipping, I didn't snip the fringe because this is what I'm trying to get longer. No touch, no touch fringe. So that's it guys, that's everything. That is my Vixie cut turned into pixie cut. That's my plan for the year. Uh, I have made friends with a great hairdresser across in England called Paul Watts, who you guys have seen on my channel a few times, and he's going to be helping me through this hair journey. He is my guide through this crazy wasteland that is hair recovery. But with that, thank you guys for sticking with me through all of my stupid, crazy hair adventures in the past year. And uh, I hope that you're looking forward to seeing me wearing wigs all throughout the year. And I'm very excited about it. I really like the idea of waking up one morning and putting on a very, very long pink wig. But then the next day, if I'm going to see my mom, I can put on a long red one and pretend that nothing ever happened. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.